Now, as you know, we like to talk to our homeowners to find out what their story is. But we also told you that Bob Turk is a local weatherman, and he was a little hard to catch up with. So it forced us to go to him and find him at work. Tina, in the meantime, tell me, why did you decide to move? Hmm. We finally had the opportunity to build our dream home. So we wanted to use it with the best materials for the environment, because both Bob and I are very involved in making sure that um, we're building the new way, the House of 2000 is really what we were looking to do. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Hi, Bob. Nice to have you join thank us. You, thank you, guys. <laughs> Hate to take you away from your work here. Special Marilyn Crab for you, sit <laughs> so, so, Bob, tell, I mean, this is really an interesting structure that you're using yeah. and, and certainly different than the average house. Tell us that about well, how you found that. The whole thing kind of started. I went to, I attend the hurricane conferences every year. And okay. at hurricane conferences, we talk about hurricanes, we talk about how dangerous hurricanes are and how dangerous they become. There's so many people living in these hurricane areas. and. What can you do to prevent yourself from your house being destroyed in a hurricane? Well, this one guy had a demonstration of these forms, these styrofoam block forms, to build houses. I said, yeah, that's interesting. And he was doing it in Florida. I thought, well, I, it stuck in the back of my mind. I kept reading about it more and more. And this was a while ago. And now, there's so much more information about this insulated concrete form building structure. I said, i got to do this. I've, I've got to do this because... You build a concrete wall like that, and that wall is going to withstand hurricane force with up to 200 miles an hour, or tornadoes, or thunderstorms, which we do get in this area. So I wanted to build a strong, strong house, which is what we're going to get with this. Plus, it's got thing. it's got a lot of other, other, other interesting properties, and the insulation value. The insulation for it. value is unbelievable yeah. in this climate. Perhaps as high as like R50, which means your heating load here is reduced by maybe as much as 70 percent or more. Tina, since yeah. this was Bob's bright idea, <laughs> yeah. I mean, did, did you worry about building an unconventional house like this, using something new and different? I wanted to know, I wanted to make sure the outside was going to look nice. What was it exactly going to look like? I wanted to make sure my architect would approve it, that it is structurally exactly what they say it is, and, and it is. And I wanted and to make sure we could afford it. Yeah, that's true, too. Well, it, Bob, it was a little tough to catch up with you, but uh, hey, look, we ended up in this hey, great restaurant. You left me a couple here. Let's How go. How can we come to Baltimore? <laughs> Maryland crabs. Not to Maryland crabs. Yeah. These are great.